Hey you guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to create a new Apple ID on your iPhone. So have this device on hand so you can follow along as we go through. Let's jump right in. So if you already have an Apple ID, I'm going to be showing you in this video how to create a new one. And if you don't have an Apple ID yet, then you'll learn how to create one in this video as well. Whether you have one or not, the steps are going to be similar or the same. First, we're going to launch the App Store. And then in the top right corner, we're going to find our initials or our icon. And so we're going to click on this. It's going to bring us to all of our account information. And up at the top here is going to be our name and our email. We'll click on this. It's going to bring us to more account settings. What we're going to do is click on our Apple ID at the top here, and it's going to bring us to a new page where we can create an Apple ID or create a new Apple ID. So we're going to hit on that down arrow here. And we'll be presented with a few different options. We can either sign in, we can create a new Apple ID or go to FAQs. And obviously we want to create a new Apple ID. So we're going to select the second most option and we're just going to follow the prompts on the page. So first and last name, country and region, and then our date of birth. And next we're going to enter the email we want used for this Apple ID. Beneath this, we'll create a password and below that, it's going to tell us all the requirements for this password. So it needs to be eight or more characters, it needs to include upper and lowercase letters, and at least one number. Once all of these light up green, it means that you have checked off all of the necessary requirements for that password. And then you're simply going to confirm the password beneath here. You can also see it's going to show you how strong that password is. Strength basically just means how safe it is. Um, and the higher that strength is, the least likely it's going to be hacked or uh, stolen. As you can see, mine's at moderate. Normally you'll want something a little higher than that, but it's definitely up to you. Hey, if you're finding this video helpful, you can also support the channel through super stickers. These basically just help fund the channel and it helps us continue to create content for you guys. Thanks again and let's get back to the video. And then we want to enter our phone number. So you can choose to verify your account with text message or phone call. You'll just check off either of those boxes. And then once you're finished that, the last thing you're going to want to do is type the characters in the image just to prove that you're not a robot. And you have the option to select a new code at the bottom here on the left. Um, as well to the right for the visually impaired, you can trigger a voice memo. And then you'll simply hit continue once you're finished. And then the last thing you're going to do is verify the email that you've typed in. So you'll have to log into the email that you've typed in and you'll receive a verification code that you'll enter and then click next. Once that code has been entered, your Apple ID has been created successfully and you can use it and sign into it on your Apple device. As a bonus tip today, I'm going to show you how to delete an Apple ID. This is super simple. The first thing you're going to do is go to privacy.apple.com and we'll click the login option at the top. Depending on what type of phone you have, you may be asked to sign in differently. With the phone that I have, I can sign in through Face ID, which is what I'm going to do now. Otherwise, you might be asked to type in a passcode or even just the password. So now we're in the data and privacy area of our account, and we're going to scroll down to the bottom where we can request to delete our account. Keep in mind that this is permanent. Um, and you may not be able to recover that account once it's been deleted. So if this is something that you're 100% certain about doing um, and you know that there's no data there or anything that you need from that account, then deleting it's really simple, but definitely be cautious. Another thing you can do is temporarily deactivate your account, which is just above this. And this is going to pause all of your activity and it's going to restrict access to this account and to your data. So if deleting your account isn't something you're totally sure about, deactivating is the next best thing. Alrighty, you guys, that's it for today's video. I hope that you found this helpful. Maybe you can use this information or maybe you can pass it on to somebody else who needs it. Thanks again, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video.